Bum ba da bum bum ba ba da bum bum bum. National Geographic, October 2021. The revolution is here. Let's get started. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so this part, not not the French dispatch here. This is an ad. And by the way, it's this part we're going to talk about. A who's that bear? Now, you might know all these security scans were like, scan! And then they get a little recognition of your face in the computers. But it turns out, you can do that with an animal, at least for bears for now. It was possible to do with every other animal, but it turns out that this is, this can happen for bears. These two happen happen for bears because it's a pretty big amount of things to happen. And this new high tech tool of camera shaping <laughs> scan scan is equal enough to do some sort of amount of work. And this promises a lot of people that they can be that this can help a lot of bear watchers to do things properly. And have a better bear watch without just actually trapping the bears themselves and making them angry. And it's called the Bear ID. I'm not sure what it is because I just read about it. But in other species, Bear ID gives hope that this can happen to other species, if, especially if aliens are here, which high chances are no. But this side, I'm just going to say that this will be the end of this episode. Firstly, also, we're just going to talk about something else first. Now, also, we're going to talk about a fly that's a gene thief. A gene thief. Bum, 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 bum. Now, what is this um gene thief? It turns out this fly that's a gene thief is actually a plant that protects itself from producing these toxins that act as natural pesticides. You know, like those leaves that produce these natural pesticides, like not the pesticides we make. Well, it turns out that those flies about 35 million years ago acquired a gene that may be immune to that. that Maybe just sort of because of they ate a, a virus leaf, infected leaf with it. So yeah, pretty much like that. And scientists in China discovered that they might have stole it from those virus leaves, like those infected leaves. And this is one of the first known cases of functional gene transfer between plants and animals. I mean, this is rare. So, we can't cross humans and plants because that would be extremely weird. But it would be cool if you could, like how they happen in the cartoons. But in other times, they are pretty much great and stops here. And so yeah, this is the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shnan out and peace.